Hello and welcome to Patashala. In this video, we will be looking into the salient features of the Indian Constitution. We will divide the salient features of the Indian Constitution into seven parts, and in this video, we will explore the feature of the Indian Constitution, the lengthiest written constitution. India boasts the world's longest written constitution, adopted in 1950. This document serves as the cornerstone of the nation, establishing it as a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Public. The constitution guarantees its citizens a framework for a just, equitable, and inclusive society. The sheer length of the Indian Constitution, exceeding 395 articles and 12 schedules, might seem daunting at first glance. However, it is a testament to its comprehensiveness. Unlike the briefness of the U.S. Constitution, which relies on amendments and judicial interpretations to address evolving needs, India's Constitution attempts to be a self-contained rule book for governance. It delves into intricate details of power distribution, fundamental rights, and the framework for a welfare state. Let's see some salient features of the Constitution of India. First one is federalism. India adopts a federal system distributing power between union that is the central government and the states. This division ensures regional autonomy while maintaining national unity. For example, the union controls defense and foreign affairs while states manage education and healthcare. Second feature is parliamentary democracy. The union government is responsible to the parliament, a bicameral legislature consisting of the Lok Sabha, that is the lower house, and Rajya Sabha, the upper house. This ensures that the government remains accountable to the people's representatives. Third one is fundamental rights. The constitution enshrines six fundamental rights, guaranteeing citizens basic liberties like equality, freedom of speech, and freedom of religion. These rights have been instrumental in landmark Supreme Court judgments like Menaka Gandhi vs. Union of India in 1978, which established the right to life and liberty as a fundamental right, encompassing a broad spectrum of human rights. Fourth one is the directive principles of the state policy. These are non-justiciable principles that guide the state towards achieving a welfare society they include establishing a uniform civil code and providing opportunities for work while not directly enforceable in courts they provide a moral compass for the government policies fifth one is the fundamental duties introduced through the 42nd amendment in 1978 these are moral obligations of citizens to uphold the constitution and promote national unity they include respecting the national flag and striving to preserve the composite culture of india sixth one is independent judiciary an independent judiciary free from political influence is crucial for upholding the rule of law and safeguarding fundamental rights the supreme court acts as the guardian of the constitution interpreting its provisions and striking down laws that violate them seventh one is single judiciary india has a unified judicial system ensuring uniform application and interpretation of laws throughout the country this strengthens the rule of law and prevents legal discrepancies between the states eighth one is secularism india is a secular state guaranteeing equal treatment and protection to all religions the government cannot promote any particular religion or discriminate against any based on faith this fosters religious tolerance and harmony in a diverse nation. nation Ninth one is immunity of judiciary. This principle ensures that all courts in the country, from the lowest level to the Supreme Court, are bound by the same set of laws and precedents. This promotes consistency in judicial decisions and strengthens the legal system. Now let's see the advantages of a lengthy constitution. The comprehensiveness of the Indian Constitution offers several advantages. It provides a clear and detailed framework for governance, reducing ambiguity and potential conflicts between different. branches of government the constitution anticipates a wide range of issues and attempts to address them proactively catering to the complexities of indian society the detailed nature of the constitution provides a stronger foundation for protecting and enforcing fundamental rights through judicial review while beneficial the length can also pose challenges amending the constitution requires a special majority in parliament making it a cumbersome process that might hinder adoption to changing times 
Detailed provisions might lead to rigidity in interpretation and implementation, potentially hindering flexibility in governance. The Indian Constitution, despite its length, is a well-crafted document that lays the foundation for a vibrant democracy. The debate surrounding its length reflects the tension between comprehensiveness and adaptability. However, the spirit of the Constitution lies in its ability to evolve through amendments. Understanding the core principles and their interpretations through landmark Supreme Court judgments is crucial. Let's see the contemporary challenges. The Indian constitution faces many contemporary challenges. Striking a balance between national security concerns and individual rights enshrined in the constitution remains a complex issue. This necessitates constant evaluation of laws like the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act to ensure they don't infringe on fundamental freedoms. The ongoing debate on national security versus individual rights exemplifies the complexity of applying the constitution in the contemporary world. While the constitution guarantees fundamental rights, it also empowers the state to take reasonable restrictions to ensure public order and security. This necessitates a delicate balance. The Supreme Court has played a crucial role in defining this balance. In Poodan Krishnamurti v. Union of India 2017, the court emphasized due process rights even in cases of terrorism, safeguarding the individuals from arbitrary detention. Let's see the challenge challenges in implementing directive principles. Another challenge lies in effectively implementing the directive principles of state policy. These non-justiciable principles, while not directly enforceable, serves as guiding lights for the government to achieve a welfare state. The directive principles of state policy advocate for securing a uniform civil code and providing free and compulsory education. However, progress on these fronts has been slow due to various social, political and religious considerations. Additionally, economic constraints can hinder the implementation of social welfare programs envisioned by the directive principles of state policy. The very length of the Indian constitution is a reflection of the complexities of Indian society. A nation with diverse ethnicities, religions, languages and regional aspirations necessitates a comprehensive framework that addresses these diversities. Federalism allows for a degree of autonomy for states to cater to regional specificities. For example, states like Kerala have a higher focus on social welfare programs due to their unique social fabric. Secularism acts as a unifying force in a religiously diverse nation. It ensures that the state does not discriminate against any religion and fosters tolerance and peaceful coexistence. To conclude, the Indian constitution with its length and comprehensiveness serves as a robust framework for a vibrant democracy. While challenges exist in terms of amending the document and balancing conflicting principles, its adaptability and the spirit of judicial interpretation ensure its continued relevance. Understand Understanding the Constitution's core values and their application in the real-world scenarios remains paramount for a strong and inclusive Indian democracy. Thank you. Have a great time.